Anyway, today I want to go over several different things. First things first is I found something out the other day, kind of by accident. So um, I know a lot of you guys look for uh, specific videos within our channel and sometimes have a tough time finding it. Well, let me give you another little tip that I, again, I found out by ex accident the other day. You guys might already know about this, but check this out. So we are on, this is my laptop, and we are on uh, just using Chrome right now. So we're going to go to YouTube. Oh, yeah. So we're going to go to YouTube.com forward slash our channel name. I can find the forward slash here. I found it earlier. Uh, old Dave, O L D A V E 100. All right. So this is our channel. Hey. Shut those guys up. <laughs> um, so I'm not signed in right now. So this is our home uh, channel panel. I think I said that before anyway so this is our home deal if you want to search specific videos look for something see this little deal right over here that brings up a window and you can search let's just say inset letters uh, inset and then you will see all the videos that have to do with inset letters or you can do you know um, coffee and questions or you can do you know any any number of different things but each one of these videos has something to do with inset letters um, so now here's the deal I assumed that this little uh, search window see there's also a search up here if you click on this search window you'll be searching all of YouTube not just our channel this search is just our channel but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way and show you what's different in uh, the mobile app with, uh, with a smartphone. So let me just move that out of the way. Now, so let's do this. Let's go to, um, well, I'll just go to Google here and I'll search uh, YouTube. Uh, why don't you? Kind of doing this uh, on the fly, which is kind of my style. No results. No YouTube.com. Really? Okay. All right. Just YouTube. All right. YouTube. Uh, wow. I think I'm... Oh, you know what? My bad. I think I'm in Google... Uh, maps <laughs> that's not really what I wanted all right let's try this again obviously I'm not uh, <clears throat> not great at this but I'm trying to just kind of YouTube all right so let's go to just go over to youtube.com all right so now what you want is you want our channel so um, within here, um, type in uh, forward slash our channel, you old gotta, Dave. Oh man, did I mess that up you again? Type in YouTube. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, there's our channel right there. That was actually even in just Google, I think. Now, um, within here. If you use that little uh, magnifier, if you type in inset letters, you may get some of our videos, but you might not. Well, actually, it looks like all of them. But there's also other stuff in there. But if you type in, if you add to that, um, old Dave 100 so whatever you're looking for if you just add old Dave 100 to it then if this works right this should all be just our stuff so anytime you're doing a search 
on your smartphone or at least the iPhone, which is what this is, if you just, whatever search you've got, if you just type in old Dave 100 after that or before it, then it will bring up just searches for our channel rather than all of YouTube. So that was something that I just kind of, I kind of uh, just stumbled across that the other day because people were telling me they couldn't search on their iPhone that that little, um, that that little uh, magnifier searches all of YouTube and not just our channel like it does on here. The other thing is when you go to subscribe, make sure, and I'm going to go back to the laptop real quick, just to answer a second question. When you go to subscribe, guys, I'm already, this is me, but when you go to subscribe, um, make sure, oh man, well, this is not really working for me, but when you do subscribe, you'll see a little icon right over here. That's a little bell. You want to click on that little bell and click on to get notifications. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, you know, because I just get, I get tons of questions, of people looking for certain videos, ooh, and <laughs> they can't seem to find the videos. But I'm hoping that will help because I just found that the, the other day. So now I'm going to move to the other side of the bench and we're going to get into another question. All right, folks, we are back. And we, uh, so now I have a question that I want to answer. This is from Pete. Um, and I get this question every once in a while, and uh, I, I need to explain something to you. So he's asking, um, he was talking about that eagle sign that I did the other day. Um, I think it was 276 or something around there, but that, that dome eagle um, and the fine detail on that. He said, uh, I have a question about carving a 16th inch, inch deep on the eagle. Um, I've carved simil similar eagle patterns and found out that when I carved them too shallow, as I sanded off the black, I also sanded the detail away. Um, also, or as you have mentioned that to us many times, a beginner usually carves too shallow, and that is correct. I, I say that quite often. So I've been trying to avoid doing that. Maybe share some light on this for me and the rest of the group on your next video. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to show you uh, the two different bit, bits that we use. <laughs> bits. Boy, my mouth isn't working again. Um, so this is an SC50. It's got one flute and it comes down to a super sharp needle point. This actually looks like it's being ground a few times. It's actually sharper than that. Uh, it comes to a finer point when it's brand new. This is our profile bit. So when you're doing fine detail, this is the one that I always start with if the detail allows me to do it. So what you want to do is you want to use the bit that gives you depth as well as width of cut. So when you're, you know, when I look at the detail of, a, of an item that I'm carving, this is the one that I would rather carve with uh, the profile bit first. But if the detail is so small like it was on that eagle, um, if I try to use this bit, it wouldn't go deep enough that it wouldn't sand out when I'm doing my sanding. So, and it would be cutting too wide. So that's the reason for the, the SC50 is it will give you depth as well as some width. And so that when you're going to sand off, um, you won't lose your detail. The other thing is, um, is you need to, whatever you're using for sanding, and many of you are using the little um, orbital sanders, and that's great, random orbital, if that's what you're used to. Um, I use that once in a while, my little octo sander, but most of the time I use the belt sander. And I early on when I started carving, I had issues with this. Number one, we had to make our own bits back in the 70s. There weren't bits like this available. But the other, um, the other thing is, I, it took me a while to develop a light touch with that belt sander. And that belt sander takes it off so fast, especially if you're using a rough belt like I do when I first start sanding. But what you might do is start, is not go quite as rough a belt when you start until you gain uh, a feel for that, um, for that belt sander. So if you're trying to go with a 40 or 50 grit belt, the way I do, 
and you're not used to that belt sander, it takes a lot of wood off in a hurry. And I like that, but I've got a feel of where I'm at on that board and how much pressure I've got. If that's still an issue for you and you're taking off too much uh, at a time and you're losing some of your detail, go down to a, a finer grit, go to an 80 or even a 120. Your belts will load up a little bit better, but it'll give you an, uh, a chance to develop a touch with that sander uh, until you, you know, until you develop that, you won't be risking taking off a lot of wood off of some of your detail carvings. Remember also, when you're carving, you want to carve a little bit deeper, a little bit wider line than the way the sign is going to end up because you're always going to lose a little bit of width of that line before you start sanding. So that's another tip. Okay, so I hope that helps you, Pete, and I hope it helps you guys out there if you have, if that is uh, something that you have an issue with. So, next, um, the other day we did a video with our new pattern. This is now on the website. This is just the pattern. This isn't the one you'll get, the MDF one. I don't actually have one cut right now because we've been selling. But here's the deal on this, guys, and we did not realize this until we started selling them. We actually, this sells for 35 right now. This sells for $35 out of the MDF, not this HDPE. What we didn't realize is the shipping cost involved because they're heavy. We actually got an order for one of these from Connecticut for a $35 plus $7.50. So we ended up $42.50 is what we got. It cost us over $23 to ship. That doesn't work. <laughs> so, um, it, yeah, it, it reminds me of an old joke where uh, a friend asked another friend said, you know, you're selling a product and you're losing a dollar on every product that you sell. And then the guy retorts with that and says, I figured I'd make it up in volume. <laughs> that doesn't quite work. So here's what we have to do, guys. And, and I apologize this. We should have figured this out before we actually listed them. We have to raise the price on this another $10. So this now, by the time you guys see this, this will be $45 on the website. Because again, you know, shipping and costing us $20, $25 to ship it just doesn't, it doesn't work for us. It, we just can't make any money on that. Uh, in fact, with the time and the materials and everything, we're actually losing money. So uh, that's not why we're in business. <laughs> and many of you might relate to that. So anyway, so uh, from this point forward, that dome pattern on the uh, website will be uh, $45. Again, it's not, uh, you know, it's not that tough to make these things yourself, guys. I think if I was in your position, I might do that. I might just make it myself. So anyway, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up so you know um, why that thing is 45 when we said it was 35. Anyway, that's that. Um, if you have any questions, obviously, um, Vicky is want, not wanting me to pound on the table. I'll take that back. But you got caught the other day. I know. Uh, next, uh, last but not least, uh, LTS is coming up on Saturday. So we'll have more, one more video on Wednesday where we'll be doing something. And then sat, no video on Friday. Saturday is the LTS. For you, those of you that don't know, that is what? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock a.m. Arizona time. LTS stands for live training session. That's me and Dad and Vic right in here in the studio doing an hour-long YouTube live broadcast. And um, we hope you guys can join us. Uh, the last 20 minutes, we try to do a Q&A. So if you guys have questions you want us to answer live, that's a great time to do it. Um, and we'll be doing a demo. I don't know exactly what it will be yet. Uh, I got some ideas. And uh, we'll be showing the new uh, template of the month for premium members. So um, that is about it. If you guys have questions, please email me. Don't, don't message me through Facebook or Instagram. Please email me directly, eric at makerwoodsign.com. But I am on Instagram, makerwoodsign, and I post it on there every day. So we'd love to have some feedback from you guys. Send us questions. Send us your uh, sign carvers of the day um, uh, pictures. And uh, we will uh, subscribe if you have. <laughs> 
If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe and definitely click that bell icon. Like and share. And if you haven't, uh, if you haven't liked and shared our videos lately, we would love for you to do that. Again, you can always reach out. If I can help with anything, just let me know. And we will see you on Wednesday. Bye.